here are our solutions for quiz 8 for math 60. Um, we're given a line over here and asked to calculate its slope. To calculate the slope, you need the slope formula. The slope formula, well, I don't know if you need the slope formula. One way to do it is by the formula, which tells you that the slope is the change in the y coordinates divided by the change in the x coordinates. So if we arbitrarily label these two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, so this point is what? Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma 1. And maybe we'll call this one x1, y1, although it doesn't matter which one you call x1, y1. And this, it's 0, negative 1, 2, 3. Um, if I called that one x1, y1, I got to call this one x2, y2. And then I can just plug things in. I can say y2 is negative 3 minus y1, which is 1, divided by x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is negative 5. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. 0 minus negative 5 is the same as 0 plus 5. When you subtract a negative, that's the same as adding. 0 plus 5 is just 5. So what I get is that my slope is negative 4 fifths, um, which makes sense. It's negative because it's going down. Uh, if it were 5 fifths, it would be a diagonal line, be negative 1. And it's almost a diagonal line, just a little bit more shallow, a little less steep. Um, so that's the slope. Determine the slope of a line perpendicular to the line pictured. Um, what you need to know for that is that if a line is perpendicular, its slope is the negative reciprocal. Reciprocal. That might be spelled right. Um, so what I mean is, up here, the slope is negative 4 fifths. The negative of negative 4 fifths would be positive 4 fifths. But I don't just want the negative of the slope. I want the negative reciprocal. So positive 4 fifths, its reciprocal is positive 5 fourths. In other words, change the sign, flip the fraction upside down, and what you have is the slope of the line perpendicular to this guy. I guess I should put that in a box because that's my final answer. Uh, I guess we're moving on. Number two. Gives us an equation, 3x plus 4y minus 12 equals 0, and asks us to find the x-intercept of this equation. What you need to know is to find the x-intercept, maybe I write that, x-intercept happens when y equals 0. So if y equals 0, this just goes away. 4 times 0 is 0, so the equation that I get is 3x minus 12 is equal to 0. If I could solve this for x, I'd have the x-intercept. So to solve this, let's add 12 to both sides of the equation. I want to get the x all by itself, so first let's get rid of those numbers. We get 3x equals 12, but we don't want to solve for 3x, we want to solve for x, so I have to divide both sides of the equation by 3. 12 divided by 3 is just 4. Um, so my x-intercept is at 4, or if you want, it's at the point 4 comma 0. I don't care which of these two you tell me, either one's fine. Uh, what about the y-intercept? Well, very similar. Y-intercept happens when x equals 0. So if x equals 0, this goes away, and all I'm left with is 4y minus 12 equals 0. So if I add, I guess I'm adding in green, 12 to both sides of the equation, then on the left, all I would have left is a 4y, and on the right, I'd have a 12. So if I divide both sides of the equation by 4, I get y is 12 fourths, in other words, y is equal to 3. Um, and again, if you really want, maybe I'll say 4. If you want, you could write it as 0, comma 3. You could write it as the point or just the number. I don't care. I know what you mean. Sketch a graph of the equation. All right. Well, since we have the x-intercept and the y-intercept, we have everything we need. We only need two distinct points to come up with the, the graph of the equation because we know it's linear. So 4, comma 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. The height of 0 looks like this point right here. Uh, 0, comma, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. This point right here. The line that goes through these two points. Try my best to draw it as a straight line. Looks something like that. Um, that's it. Sketch graph of the equation. There it is. Um, so I guess that's the end of the quiz.